This will be our last question. Oh, no, I love questions. Who's got it? You've got it. Hi, my name's George Tarr. You mean the absolute world to me. Um, oh, I did my thesis in the ethics of artificial intelligence. And what I focused on was fully autonomous weapons. So those are weapons where there is no human in the loop. A machine decides who gets killed abroad. Now, the amazing thing about this is America has not signed the pledge to ban them, and a lot of countries have. Elon Musk supports it, tech entrepreneurs support it, but America hasn't signed it. And so what I'd like to know is, why do you think the incentives in international relations, military technology, are so bad that we can't even do something as obvious as banning the Terminator, killer robots? We can't even do that. Why do you think that is, and how can we stop it? The U.S. has this mistaken view that uh, restraining oneself is somehow curbing options and a sign of weakness, whereas I think it's a sign of strength. For example, I'm one of the candidates who has openly said I would adopt a no first use of nuclear weapons policy because we should not be the first country to use nuclear weapons. Uh, some people in, uh, in the military think like, well, you know, you always have to reserve the right. Just like I can see the conversation when you're like, hey, killer robots, what do you think? Someone in the military would be like, I, I might want to use a killer robot that kills automatically without actually checking with anyone. Uh, you know, to, to me, obviously, you should be like, hey, we should make sure that if we kill someone, there's a, a person making that decision instead of just having an auto kill. Um, so we need to rein in the military industrial complex of this country. Think about... Think about where we just were or really still are. 75% of Americans want nothing to do with war with Iran. So how the heck are we at the brink of war with Iran? It's because Congress has given its authority to declare war to the executive branch for 19 years and counting and said, you know, do what you want. As your president, I would repeal the AUMF. I would say to Congress, it is your power and your power alone to declare war. And then I would make sure that we end the forever wars and start investing that $700 billion a year in things that will genuinely make us stronger and more secure, including fighting things like climate change.